Praise the Lord. I'm putting together some prayers. I want to come to you by radio concerning what I call apostolic prayers that release the power of God. And I've come to understand and come to learn that so many people uh, does not understand the power source that God has given us whereby we are able to pray and release not both the anointing but also the power and the hand of God or the word of God as we find it in the scripture. I call these apostolic prayers because one, being an apostle, I've learned uh, that authority comes with the anointing that God places on his ministers. And I'm, I'm sure that over the years that I've applied these prayers and exercised this dominion and authority in my own life and ministry and have seen tremendous results uh, because of the word of God. The Bible says that thou shalt decree a thing in the book of Job and it shall be established unto thee. You shall decree and it shall be established. So what that says to me is that if I decree the word of God, uh, it will be established in my life, in my ministry, and in the life of my loved ones or in the spiritual atmosphere around me. And the power of God and the word of God uh, will be made known and made plain. Now, those of you that would agree with the prayers as I preach them, or I mean as I pray them and as I proclaim them, um, I have no doubt that you will begin to see dramatic results and changes in the lives of your family members and, and those that you apply this prayer. Uh, without further ado, the Bible says this. Uh, Jesus said in, Ma in Mark chapter uh, 24, if you would, uh, he said this and he said it on this wise i'm sorry mark chapter 11 verse 24 uh he said if thou canst believe all things are possible to them that believeth it's possible to them that believeth it's possible so therefore when you release these prayers in the atmosphere believe that it's possible uh and that it will take place uh, he said, you shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed. And he says, it should obey you. Uh, yes, he said, it should obey you. So without any further ado, I want to pray the prayers that I call uh, releasing the fire of God. Prayers releasing the fire of God. Let us spend a few seconds to worship the Lord and to praise him and to magnify him to get the presence of God conducive to that which what we are trying to do. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. We praise you and we worship you and we magnify you, Lord. Father, I just pray that your word go forth and, it, and, it, and accomplish that which you have sent it to do. Amen. Father, your throne, O Lord, is like a fiery flame. You are the God that answers by fire. A fire goes before you, O Lord, and burns up your enemies. Lord, release your fire and burn up the works of darkness. Baptize me with the Holy Ghost and fire. Let your fire be in my hands to heal the sick and cast out devils in Jesus' name. Let your fire burn in my eyes, my heart, my belly, my mouth, and my feet in the name of Jesus. Let your fire be in my tongue to preach and prophesy in the name of Jesus. I receive tongues of fire in the name of Jesus. Let your word be preached with fire. Make me a minister of fire. Deliver me with your fire, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let your fire protect me and cover me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I release the fire of God to burn up the idols of the land in the name of Jesus. Let the works of witchcraft and occultism be burned in your fire, O Lord Jesus. Purify my life with your fire. Let your fire be released in Zion 
in the name of Jesus. Let the spirits of lust and perversion be destroyed with your fire, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release the spirit of burning to burn up the works of darkness in the name of Jesus. Let your flame burn up wicked spirits, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let your glory kindle a burning like the burning of a fire in the name of Jesus. Let your flame burn up wicked spirits, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Cause your glorious voice to be heard. Show lightning down your arm with a flame of devouring fire, with scattering tempest and hailstones in the name of Jesus. Let Babylon be as stubble and let your fire burn them. Let them not be able to deliver themselves from the power of the flame in the name of Jesus. Lord, come and rebuke your enemies with flames of fire in the name of Jesus. Let all flesh see your fire released, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Create upon Zion a flaming fire by night, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of your presence be released in my life, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let demons be exposed and cast out with your fire, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release your hot thunderbolts against the enemy, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Cast forth lightning and scatter the enemy, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let your light be for a fire and your holy one for a flame to burn the briars and thorns in my life, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Now the Bible says, if thou canst decree a thing, and the Bible says where two of us can agree as touching anything that we should ask or say in the name of Jesus, it shall be granted unto us. So those of you that need a fire of God released, that needs the fire and the thunder and the lightning of God released in your life, just believe and receive. Stand with the prayer. Just say, Lord, I receive. I sense the anointing on me now. I, re I receive the anointing of God now. In Jesus' name, I release it right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.